Oh, police helicopters used for monitoring major incidents, catching criminals and looking for missing people in remote locations are costly. So the National Police Air Service is testing out an unmanned police helicopter for the first time. It's much larger than existing drones that are currently used and can travel a lot further. Dan Johnson has been to watch the initial test flight. Lift off for the new police eye in the sky. Robocopter. It's leaner, greener and cheaper. This aircraft can fly up to around 8 to 12 hours. And it can uh, stay up for much longer. We get calls daily with a variety of different use cases from missing persons, pursuits, calls around the electric bikes and things like that. And it's very costly to deploy our helicopters on an hourly basis. This offers us an opportunity to deploy the same type of capability to provide a more affordable air support whilst also still retaining our crewed aircraft as well for the likes of the higher speed pursuits, etc., which those aircraft are designed to be doing. We're told this doesn't mean an end to crewed police helicopters. It's supposed to complement the fleet, but it could mean an end to the noise complaints because it is a lot quieter. Cardiff radar, this is X-ray one, nothing heard. Oh. There's still a crew of two, a pilot and a spotter, but flying with their feet firmly on the ground. What you're looking at there is what I would see in the aircraft. So my job as an observer, tactical flight officer, doesn't change. Aren't you going to miss actually flying? It's a blended, we're not replacing the aircraft. We're not replacing the helicopter, so it's going to be a blended fleet. Thank you, free speed, descent flight number 150, Tom Jeff, it's got the same high-powered camera and infrared ability to spot suspects or missing people. The Coast Guard uses something similar to search the seas, but this will be the first to fly over residential areas, and it could mean more unmanned aircraft taking to our skies. We're really excited about the opportunities for emergency services. We're also working with healthcare providers to see what we might be able to do in healthcare. We're working with companies like Network Rail and Seas AI to look at opportunities around infrastructure surveillance, and we're just generally really excited about what we think uh, unmanned aircraft systems might be able to enable in the future. This is still a prototype in early stage test flights, but the chopper without a copper is likely to be a reality in the next few years. Dan Johnson, BBC News, Avonmouth.